Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mark Harris, 1555 Filmworks. Check it out. Just saying this. This is a wonderful time to be an independent filmmaker. Here's why. So there's a streaming war going, going on. Of course, we see that was going on. We know we just saw how Warner Brothers dropped all of their content for 2021, which is their major Marvel movies. And uh, big films like from Denzel Washington, they're dropping everything on in 2021 on streaming. So this is a great opportunity for us as independent filmmakers. Why? Because that's going to glue more. That's going to put people, more people eyes on the, on these streaming platforms. You know, there's so many Marvel movies that you can watch. There's so many movies you can watch with Denzel Washington. He only has one movie coming out per year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Johnny Depp, one movie coming out per year. So uh, you can, Al Pacino, uh, Rob De Niro, most A-listers, they only have one movie coming out per year. Two max. But most of the time, it's just one. So... You're going to have people who are going to watch that movie. And then once they watch that movie, right, they're going to keep their eyes glued. They're going to be watching other content. That's where we come in at. You know, when we do our, our proper placement of our films and we put our films on these platforms, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Netflix, whether it's um, Hulu, uh, whether it's Indie Flicks, whether it's uh, All Black, whether it's uh, Urban Flicks, whatever platform, people are, people are starving, starving uh, for content. So it's our job, it's our objective to get this content out there as independent filmmakers now. Because Hollywood, the, the major studios, they're looking, right? Don't think for a second that they're not calculating how to get rid of independent filmmakers. Because we, now we're we are, we are, we are, we are more competition for them, right? We're way more competition because now it's, it's an even playing field. Their film is right here, our film is right here. It's not like... Um, it's not like off, uh, uh, in the theaters, right, when you have a big uh, Marvel movie playing in the theaters and they thought we have one of our fans. And so even in, in, in situations uh, that were like that when the theaters were wide open, you still had independent films that would do very well. And sometimes, most, and many times, uh, they, were, um, they, were, they would outperform the studio films. So the studio executives are watching. They're keeping their eyes on independent filmmakers and independent content. You know, so theaters are not going anywhere first. They're not going anywhere. So I just, this is just me. Uh, this is my own opinion. What I think is going to happen in terms of with the theaters. I think that uh, when it comes to the studios, they're going to release their major blockbusters at the theaters. Um, and also they're going to do more films around the five to seven million dollar range. And those films are going to go straight to their streaming platforms because they need that content. And they're also going to acquire a lot of other independent films from independent filmmakers. So this is where we come in at. We can fill that void, meaning that uh, we, if you have so many block, you can have so many blockbusters who are that are coming into theaters, right? So as independent filmmakers, what we can do, we can four wall these theaters, and we can rent out the theaters ourselves, and that leaves room for us to go in and have theatrical releases uh, and do partnerships with the with the Regal uh, Cinemas, with uh, AMC, do partnership with, with them so we can release our films theatrically and more uh, on more screens now. So this is a per perfect opportunity for filmmakers. So go out there, make these films, and let's, let's just, it's a war. It's a war. So we know it's a war. Executives in Hollywood know it's a war, but we as independent filmmakers, we have to know that it's it's a war. And this is not a war where whereas in, there's going to be, of course, not bloodshed, anything like that, or, the, or any animosity. Meaning it's a war, meaning that this is a perfect time as we compete with one another. We're competing for the dollar, the consumer. You know what I'm saying? And we have to know, we have to know this. You know what I'm saying? We have to know this. And this is an opportunity for not just the studios to make money. This is an opportunity for the independents to make money. So together, collectively, everyone is going to be making money off this. Everyone is going to be making money. The only way you're not going to be making the money and making a good living off of this and, a, uh, and to able to provide for your family and is the fact that uh, you're not creating content. Is the fact that if you're creating content, you're depending on other people to promote your content. Look, look, there's no... Uh, promote your own content. Promote what you're putting out. Uh, I want to thank you all. Uh, check it out. Uh, follow us on 1555 Filmworks Instagram. Uh, go, make sure you all go to uh, uh, Facebook and follow uh, Black Films Rock. When we have casting calls, that's where we're going to do all our casting calls at. Black Films Rock on Facebook. 
uh, on Instagram is Black Films Rock as well. Uh, we're looking for people from all backgrounds because uh, we're going globally now. You know, we're talking about Africa. We're talking about Asia. We're talking about India. Uh, when we cast uh, our upcoming movies, we're casting we're casting based off hitting these markets and all over the planet Earth. That's what we're doing now. We're not sitting back. We're not looking uh, at a smaller scale. We're not looking just like our block. We're not looking at just people from our race. We're not looking just from people from America or our city. We're talking about we're reaching. We're going globally now. So thank you all. I truly appreciate it.